Hey, Tyler, when you get your number called on a blitz like that and you, you have a lane at the quarterback, is that something that as a secondary player is just really exciting for you, something that's really fun part of the game, able to force that fumble? Uh, yeah, that was really one of the main things I really wanted to work on this offseason was my blitz tracks and my uh, blitz speed and the violence that I blitzed in. So when he made that call, I just knew what time it was. Go ahead, Chip. Yeah, Tyler, much much was made this week about uh, the emphasis being on better tackling after the East Carolina game. How would you assess the uh, the play of the defense today in terms of your tackling? Uh, I would say it was it was better than last week. Uh, we emphasized it in practice, and what we emphasize in practice, we try and carry over to the game, and that's what we try to do this week, and we'll continue to get better at that as well. Go ahead, Gibby. Yeah, Chip kind of stole my my question there, but just just could you elaborate on the defense a little bit today? I mean, did you guys come in with a little more a little more hungry because of maybe what happened last week, and and if so, uh, looked like it worked for you guys? Yeah, I mean, we felt like we didn't play up to our standard that we know we uh, we know we uphold in our defensive room, so we knew we had to come out this week with a new hunger, new motivation, and just go out there and just play the way that we know we how to the way that we know how to play, which is fast and physical. Go ahead, Alec. Yeah, a lot of guys got into this game in the second half, and, you know, Jalen Frazier had an interception. Just how cool is it to see some of those guys getting into game action and, and making big plays? I mean, that's the goal. That's what we say in our uh, nickel room. It's a factory. We just, we just keep on pumping them out. I go out, the next one come in, he can get a pick, too. It's just a factory with us. Me, JPL, Jalen Frazier, all the guys, we just go in there, we just make plays. With Isaiah Correll, we're all just built for it. Go ahead, David. You know, you, you had the you forced the fumble and then immediately after had an interception. Is is that how it feels a lot on defense when sort of those those momentum plays start to happen and you can kind of build on those and, and have those big moments back to back like that? I mean, we don't try to really keep up with the play that you make. I just kind of just go to that next play mentality. You make one, teammates celebrate it, and then it's just the next play. Clear mind, the play cycle is what goes on. Talks about that play cycle. I try and emphasize that this season more, just getting rid of that next play, restarting that new place for with a fresh mind and just making a new play. Uh, Chip, go ahead. Tell how much do you get out of a game like this? Obviously, you, you know, the, Charleston Southern was outmanned in this game. You guys were a lot better team. Just how much can you get out of a game like this? I know you wanted to straighten out some things from the East Carolina game, but what kind of positives do you think came out of this? Uh, just, the way, just like you said, the way we tackled uh, some of our, techni our technical things, our technical uh, – like, like our man coverage, some of our zone schemes, our disguises, you know, stuff like that, that we just knew we had to improve on from first game. And when it comes to the second game and kind of put that on film, that we, we, we can make improvements and we can take stuff off, off tape as well. All right, Tyler, that's all the questions we have for you. Thanks for joining us. Appreciate you.